when Sylvia came, her little eyes are still fused shut. She was 380 grams. At that stage, the wombats, they're still developing and their skin is really fragile. They're really tiny, really undeveloped, like a premature human baby. Sylvia had a gut infection, she was really sick. We didn't think we'd be able to save her. All I was able to do was just keep rehydrating her so that she didn't die of dehydration. And it was just a case of just keep trying and trying. One night, I actually thought she was going to die. You know, I just couldn't keep fluids in her and I just thought, oh, this is it, She's, I'm going to lose her. When I woke up three hours after, she was still alive and that was the day she turned around and she hasn't looked back since. My family just referred to me as that crazy wombat lady. Once I raised my first wombat, 10 years ago, there was no going back. Wombats started to take up all of my waking thinking. When I was working in high school, I would take the little animals to work with me and I'd feed them during break times if they needed it. And then the house was full of baby wombats. <laughs> Depending on the stage at which they come in, so for the little tiny ones, they come in as little orphans. We go through the pinky stage and we get them established on formula feeding, regular feeding, regular weight gain. So then they have an inside stage. It's like having a very short, fat, affectionate toddler who just wants to be with you all the time. Pulling things out of the cupboard. A lot of them learn to open doors. And then they just like to be in there and pull everything out. And that lasts until they're about five or six kilos. And then from eight kilos, maybe, they then move to the outside enclosure. Monitoring their behaviour, make sure they can dig a burrow, eat native food, become nocturnal, which is what they should be doing, and release their ready. Even though it's sad when we release them because we've invested 18 months of our life in, in these animals and they are very affectionate and they do get hold of your heart, it's incredibly satisfying. When Sylvia got over her upset tummy, it was the usual weight gain, 10 to 20 grams a day, every day. Sylvia's only two and a half kilos, so she's got a long, long time of being an inside care wombat. We'll know Sylvie's ready for release when she's over 18 months and well over 18 kilos, when she's dug her own burrow in her enclosure and maintains it, when she is fully nocturnal and we don't see her at all until after dark. I won't be retiring from wombats anytime soon. <laughs> I've planned to several times over the last few years and then I've got busier and busier with it. And now I'm heavily involved in treating manger in the ACT and also working with a team of people on developing a tracking system for our released wombats. So it just gets bigger and bigger.